Welcome to Pop Takes, where we discuss and debate anything and everything happening in pop culture. I'm Francisco Melendez. And I'm Brian Woods. On September 7th, Insomniac Games' Marvel's Spider-Man was released on PS4. People seem to like it. To celebrate the release of this highly anticipated game, we're going to answer the question, who is the best Peter Parker? Well, I think the answer is quite obvious. As most, as most critics and 15-year-old girls would agree, Tom Holland is clearly the superior Spider-Man. Let's start from the beginning, as in Civil War. How long is he in that movie? Very little time, right? Three minutes. Yeah, very little time. And in that time, he steals the show. You ask anyone, best, part, best characters in that movie, and a lot of people will say Black Panther and Spider-Man. Captain America's girlfriend. Mm. Is she though? No. Spider-Man? Spider yeah. He steals his show. He's charming. He can do the action really well. And he's just got so many great lines. And then fast forward to Hot Take, one of the lesser Marvel movies, Spider-Man Homecoming, where despite the movie itself not being as strong as some of the other movies in the MCU, well, still Tom Holland carries that uh, movie and he's, you know, acting against some tough competition. You've got characters like the Vulture, MJ, who are so dominant in their, per in their personalities. But then Tom Holland just comes in like, yo, I'm Tom Holland. I can do anything. And I'm a 15-year-old Spider-Man, and I can act super well. That scene where, spoilers, he's getting crushed and he's crying for his life, I felt that, you know? And speaking of feeling, in Infinity War, I felt my ribs hurt because his lines were hysterical in that movie. And then you see his different dimensions in that movie. He starts as a naive boy. You see him kind of, you know, try to be one of the Avengers. And by the end, you are crying. That's not a question. You are crying. The audience is crying. You at home are crying because, say it with me now, Mr. Stark, I do I not feel, feel so good. good. <laughs> exactly. And in that scene, everyone lost hope in the world. In that scene, everyone got their ice cream and started crying. Why? Because Tom Holland sold everything in that scene. That scene was amazing. And he just brought so much depth to that character, that fear that a young person feels at, you know, dying at, at that moment. At, up to this point, Spider-Man is dead. And Tom Holland sold that at death like a pro, you know? Yeah. Can, my turn now? Yeah. Uh, I am on the Tobey Maguire side. And... Mm -hmm. You know, like, this is one of those things that kind of bums me out. It's like, oh, like, is global warming a hoax? Like, why are we even giving you a platform? Let me tell you. I have zero respect for anyone that's younger than me by a day. That includes my siblings, my girlfriend, you, the viewer. It, it, so when you come to me like, oh, this 15-year-old Spider-Man's cool, I'm like, he's a dumb kid. Tobey Maguire, he's an adult. He's edgy. He, uh, he killed the Green Goblin. That's something he did. And then it's like, wait, no, he didn't which is, took a while. Like, when you see him like move like that in Spider-Man 3, I can't do it, I'm too fat for the suit. But I felt that. When he hit, when he hit MJ, it was really weird. I'm like, that's kind of weird, but it was a black suit. Mm -hmm. Tobey Maguire is edgy and cool. Tom Holland is a child. Mm -hmm. He has nothing on the range of Tobey Maguire. You say range, at one second Tobey's like, yeah, go make me some more cookies. Yeah, go make more. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, he's just like ugly, because like, his friend's dead, you know? Like, how can you compete with that? Tom Holland, a child, he's only been in what, one movie? He's only three, but he died, so he's not gonna get any more. There's no more Spider-Man mm -hmm. movies coming out. Toby had a whole trilogy, and every movie better than the last. Mm -hmm. Three is the peak of acting. You know, you can tell, because Toby is such a good actor, he's been in so many good movies since then. He's been in Boss Baby as the narrator. Mm. Yes. Academy Award nominated movie, yeah. Yeah, he's the boss baby narrator. Oh, wow. And it's not nearly as good as Spider-Man because not much else is, but like... Guys, Tobey Maguire is the worst Spider-Man. They put me in this position. What am I to do? But say, I can't do it, guys. Tom Holland, undisputably the best Spider-Man. Then it goes, then it goes the British guy. And then it goes Toby. Okay, okay, <laughs> slow down, okay. Andrew Garfield did a fine job, but, you know, Toby Maguire was better than that. He wasn't competing against two really bad movies, but, you know, the point is, I'm right, objectively, I'm the king, he's the peasant, I won, he lost, 
and that's the point. So good night, everyone.